Welcome to uh, another Clifton Chili Club uh, on tour again. Um, this time we've been lucky to be invited over to uh, a little uh, a collection of islands called the Canary Islands, um, and we're actually on the island of Tenerife, hence we're at the Tenerife Chili Farm. Um, it's actually in a base of a actual volcano and everything like that, but um, it's a phenomenal thing. It's run by two guys, um, uh, Simon and Daz, and I believe Daz is somewhere around there. Oh, there he is. Say hi. 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 Okay, and got Dave Matt there as well. Um, we've come over, we're just having a look, and this is, we're actually in a, a volcano crater, aren't we? Yes. Yeah, yeah. and what's the volcano crater called? Caldera del Rey. Caldera del Rey. Okay, so. The King's Crater. The King's Crater is what it's translated. Um, if you see behind me, you can just see the, the amount of chili plants. Obviously, volcanic ash is very, very rich in nutrients and everything like that. Um, and we've just been coming through and. Some of the size of the pods are absolutely amazing. I'm just going to pick one off here. Okay, I mean, look at that beast. You know what I mean? Look. Mm -hmm. Shall I eat it? No. Okay. Um, we've probably tried some later on during the week, but it, it, it is amazing. Um, you, just above me, and you can also see behind, um, they're all strung up, and there's actually a netting over the top. Um, we uh, discuss that and explain what that exactly is, but at the moment, we're just walking around, having a look at a few trees. There's a few monsters around here. We've got Carolina Reapers. There's all sorts in here. Um, just hundreds, hundreds. Um, very, very good. Behind us, um, some other farming. So we've got cabbages, etc. and that. Uh, interesting cabbages. And there we go. Hopefully you enjoy our video. Chili farm, and uh, we're just in one of our areas here. As you can see, it's covered with this hessian type material, which originated in the Canaries for predominantly for the bananas, gives them a little bit of shade, but mainly to create the humidity that the banana does require. For the north of the island, you wouldn't see it because it's a lot more humid. For us, it's perfect for chilies, um, it creates the right amount of sunshade because in the summer months it gets really, really hot. The sun's very fierce even now, it's middle of November, and we're all roasting. Um, so the Hessian in this sort of environment has been absolutely perfect for us growing our plants. The majority of what we got in this area are scorpions, whether they're butch tea or Trinidad Maruga. Concentrated mainly on that just to try to get that one right. We've also got at the top end of the, the patch, which we'll see in a little bit, we've got Carolina Reapers, we've got Brain Strain, we've got Naga, very, very big Naga. You can see a lovely example here of a butch tea. And on the same plant, a pod that doesn't look anything like it. Very difficult sometimes. But we do know that they're all scorpions. Tea scorpion plants. Uh, we're nearly in December now and they're still flowering, still fruiting. Fruit's absolutely fantastic on these, but this one's got to be nearly eight foot tall, grown in perfect conditions, and we're loving it. Well, we just had a nice little tour around the uh, the chili farm and that. It's, it's not all horseplay, as you, as you can see. Um, having a great time, actually. It's brilliant. It's in its 20s or something like that, so excellent. Having a good time. All right, catch you later.